Hi, this is Chris from Tips and Tricks for Office. Today I'm gonna speak a little about InfoPath. In InfoPath you can't add a line break using rules out of the box. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. To attack a specific problem uh, I want to make a confirmation for, for a user. I want the user to input his uh, first name, last name, address and zip code and then put the whole thing into a, um, a confirmation text in, in a separate text box with the appropriate line breaks. So the, thirth, the first thing you need to do is to create a new file, uh, a new XML file. I've called it uh, linebreak.xml. You can just fire up your favorite uh, text editor. I prefer using Notepad++. And then you need to type this specific code into it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the code in the video description so you don't have to pause the video. You can copy and paste the, the text from there. Okay, so after you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to fire up InfoPath. So let's go ahead and do it. We need to uh, design a new form template, just a blank one. And for this example, I want to insert a layout table, uh, 2 by 4 like this. And we were going to use the fields, first name, I'm going to use last name, address, and zip code, city. Okay, and don't mind uh, the casing here. This is just again an, an oversimplified uh, test, just to prove the concept to you. Uh, what you make of it is is up to yourselves. Okay, let's go ahead and add some controls. We are going to use a couple of text boxes. Just drag and drop them into our layout field. And I'd like to rename those fields as well, um, just for for better understanding. So let's go ahead and do that. First name, last name, address, zip city. Okay. So we also need to have a uh, button inserted to create the action and we need a uh, final text box where our complete label should go. So here we are, and let's rename this as well, txt label, okay, the button as well, um, do it, okay. Uh, we also need to remember to, to make the multi-line function ava available. We need to uh, add this, to, to change this in, in the text label properties. So go ahead and double click it, then you get the properties box. Go over to the display pane and enable multi-line here. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to import uh, or, to, or to, to create a data connection to our XML file uh, and we do that by clicking tools and data connections and add and we want to retrieve the line break character so click retrieve and next and it's an XML document so just leave this there okay let's Browse where we've placed it. I've placed it on uh, on my desktop, so I'm just gonna go in there, open up, and click next. Uh, for better usage, uh, we want to include the data in in the resource file. This makes it a, a lot easier for for usage later on. So just leave it there and click next. You can uh, change the name for the data connection if you want to, but otherwise you can just leave it at as line break. It's gonna take the, the default name for the file. Okay? 
So click finished and close. So now we're almost there. Uh, we just need to add the, the, the rule or the function that's gonna create a, a, a label for us. So double click on the button, click on rules and add. Let's give the rule a name, create label. We don't want to set any conditions because this rule should always apply in this example. We want to we want this to, to happen every time we click the button. So just leave this there and click add action. And we want to change the value of the txt label box. So we want to set a fields value. And the field we want to change is txt label. And the value we want to insert is gonna be this formula. We need to insert a function. Uh, we need to concatenate uh, all the fields and the line breaks to, to one string. Uh, so go ahead and click insert function and concat. The first thing we're going to write is uh, a short message uh, stating thank you for entering the following information. Okay, and remember to add the, the semicolon uh, to add the statement, otherwise you're going to have an error. Okay, so after the first text, we need to have a line break. So double click here. And instead of using the main data source where you have all your fields, you can change the data source to line break. And then add uh, the line break name. Uh, I've I've called mine CRLF, but you can call it anything you want to. Click OK. So now we have a brief uh, intro text. We have a line break. And we're going to insert. Uh, we're going to write first uh, to make it more uh, understandable. First, oh, let's see, like this. First name, and then we want to insert first name from the txt first name box okay another line break is to be added again choose the line break data source then we're going to insert the last name insert field last name and just continue doing this. I'm gonna just uh, speed over this a little bit, but you you should get the point now. What you need to do. So I have the line break. Okay, that should do it. Click OK all the way back. And we're ready to go ahead and test it now. So click the preview button up here to uh, to let's see how it how it works. And just type in some test data. Chris Hansen, Main Street one in somewhere. It's a great place, by the way, somewhere. Okay, click do it. So here you have it. Uh, you can now add some text uh, with the combined line breaks. Uh, and you can use this any way you want. Uh, I had to use it uh, earlier and had to spend a lot of time searching for the sensor. So here you are. Okay, so this, this concludes this tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Uh, leave any comments if you want to, and uh, remember to subscribe. Thanks.